What's good everybody? My name is Bones. This is my first YouTube video and take a while. Guess what prompted me to make it? This trash right here. This trash. I know a lot of you know what these are, the little frozen hamburgers. I bought some from one of the wholesalers, <clears throat> tried to hook it up, tried to make it good. Horrible, horrible, horrible. I should have known better. Forgive me. I should have known better. But what it made me do is it made me want to go out and try to make the best hamburger I could, I could possibly make with uh, my favorite cuts of beef. So I said, why not? So, um, you know, let's get to it and I'll show you what I did. In my opinion, it's the best hamburgers of all time. Check it out. So the cuts I chose was the classic chuck roast. Uh, that's pretty much standard in most burgers. Then I pick a flap steak, which is really, really good. Usually using fajitas, nice marbling. Uh, about an equal of that is chuck. And then I hooked it up with the, uh, my two favorite short rib and um, oxtails, probably a pound each. Uh, the beautiful thing about those, you get that nice 80-20 ratio and that nice marbling and fat content. It just it just makes for a beautiful thing. Um, one thing I probably would have did differently though, uh, I would have got the short ribs. I would have got deep the D-bone version of the short ribs because it would have saved me a little bit of time on uh, cutting it up. But um, you know, I like to do stuff with the bones, so it's all good. Uh, but the biggest obstacle was not these short ribs. If you ever had um, if you ever had oxtails, you know, stewed down and just tried to eat them. The way the bones are make, made it super hard to get it off the um, super hard to get the meat off the bone, but it was definitely worth it. So if you want to put in the time, then do it. And even leaving the meat on the bones, I got some really good bone broth. Took the kids camping, they loved it. Um, so I mean, it really it really was a win win for me, and I don't mind working a knife. So it was cool. So just cut up the rest of your meat, your flap steak, really really easy cut. Put it aside. Next thing you want to get your chuck roast, cut that up. Uh, really 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 easy it really helps if you were to um throw them in the freezer and let them get a little firm before you throw them in the grinder i was making the video i was kind of on, on a time crunch so uh, i just i just let it roll as you can see i don't have nothing fancy just a little kitchen aid grinder um it gets the job done it might be a little slow i had to stop and clean it out once or twice when the fat starts gunking it up from not being cold but i got a beautiful nice fatty result so now it goes on to uh, making the burgers and this a little bit behind the scenes. This is after I had, I wanted to make smash burgers, but I didn't anticipate the fat content was so much. I didn't have wax paper. So um, my spatula was just like sticking to the meat and I tried to do it like three or four times. And I was like, well, forget it. You know what I'm saying? I'm just gonna make some, some classic burgers and that'll give me a more, a better sense of what they taste like. I just seasoned with rock salt and um, coarse ground pepper. That uh, what what ended up happening was the salt on there, the the, the rock salt gave me kind of like a little guilty uh, crunch because uh, it didn't render and melt all the salt down. Next, you know, of course you got to toast the brioche buns and just throw them in there. I like mine medium rare. I like all my beef medium rare. You can cook them more well. You might get more shrinkage, but uh, mine were definitely medium rare. So I let them go for a little bit, get that nice crust on one side in the cast iron. Flip it. You can see, like I said, I have this big blackstone spatula for when I was going to do smash burgers, but it really didn't work out. And it kind of was a pain flipping these burgers with this spatula and the pan's not that large, but it ended up working out. It ended up working out. Everything was all good. So I let them brown on the other side and actually cook on the inside. Throw the cheese on. I'm sorry. You got to use good old American cheese on these burgers. I, I mean, I had every type of cheese on burgers. Nothing goes better than American. Don't I ain't even going to argue about it. I'm not going to argue. Just make sure you use American cheese. And then, and then next thing you know, I mean, you got you can throw onions on there, whatever condiments you want, but you end up with a beautiful, juicy burger and you won't regret it.